you to measure the absorbance of that each solution. So out of this solution, the 10 ppm solution is the highest concentration solution. So with the help of this solution, we are going to find the lambda max of the solution. Colorimeter is based around the color. It is the absorbance of color. It is depicted is based on the your Beer's Lambert's law. You know the Beer's Lambert's law. The concentration of solution increases, the absorbance of solution increases. That is the Beer's law. Renox percent transmission absorbance. Okay, and uh, analog and calibrate. So this instrument get calibrated with the help of distilled water. Cuvet with the help of this cuvet. We are passing the we are taking the solution of the KMNO4 in this cavity and put in this cell. So with this instrument, this is the your knob filter. It is a filter. There are different filters. The filters are written here. They are wavelength. This filter helps to give the particular wavelength of light to pass the solution. Every solution having tendency to absorb the maximum wavelength of light, different wavelength of light, different color, like potassium permanganate having different wavelength of color get absorbed, copper sulfate different color of wavelength, nickel sulfate different color of wavelength. So here, first we are going to find out which wavelength of maximum wavelength of color get absorbed by this potassium permanganate solution. So here, this knob, there are total 8 knobs, 400 nanometer, 420 to 700 nanometers, different knobs are here. The first knob, 400 nanometer. So, so by taking this distilled water, in this covet, first clean this covet, make it dry and then put in the cell by taking the solution of 8 ppm. Don't completely fill this covet. See, don't completely fill, otherwise your cell will be damaged. So only less than top. It should be a three four. Three four. Now put this in first wavelength. It is showing zero ready. Okay. No down zero ready. Now second filter that is six hundred sixty. Okay, 660 seven filter. Each time you have to put the distilled water covet in the cell and adjust zero, unlock here, elevate with zero, remove the unlock, and then pass this solution. Its absorbance is again zero. Something is missing. Next row length 620. Trading is 0.08. Then the last length 400 nanometer.
500 nanometer, which is the lambda max. With therefore, this will water make it zero. And now take one by one reading. First, two ppm solution. This is the experimental part, the third part of this experiment and now next thing is to draw the graph of concentration versus absorbance. From this graph of concentration versus absorbance we can find the unknown concentration of this solution. 